It's really hard to say nice things without sounding cliche, but you truly are my best friend and the love of my life. I love how well you take care of me. If I've had a bad day, I'm feeling unwell, or I'm suffering from one of my infamous hangovers. <laughs> I love the patience you have for me, which isn't very easy on any given day, let alone if I throw in an early morning tantrum, <laughs> pins and needles in the middle of the night, or a bout of hunger. <laughs> But most importantly, I love how much you make me laugh. A lot, and sometimes when I really don't want to. <laughs> Your ability to lighten the mood and remind me not to take life so seriously will mean that we, but probably more you, will avoid a lot of misery in our marriage. <laughs> Thank you for making the irresponsible choice to get involved with a work colleague. <laughs> for missing too many trains home to be a coincidence. <laughs> for holding me beautiful every day, even in my spanks, <laughs> and for generally making me feel so special and loved all the time. But mostly, thank you for choosing to be my husband. My aim in our marriage is to reciprocate the way that you make me feel, to keep working together as a team, and to keep riding on the same wavelength. If we can manage that, I'm sure we'll have a very happy and fun-filled life together. I've got so much more to thank Jade for than just being here, looking beautiful, and just being my best friend. Um, she's someone who's helped me throughout everything I've done. Through my career, I took a bit of a risky step, and I broke free from private practice being a solicitor fairly early on, and went and took a bit of a bold move, and she was always there to support me, and she helped me do that. On top of that, she makes a mean stir fry. <laughs> <laughs> believe that. Uh, and she, she shares my love of uh, cats, booze, and sleep. And, yeah, as I say, she's my best friend. And, and it, it makes me so proud and just so happy to be able to call her my wife and to know that she's going to be there for the rest of it. Back in April, I, in my speech, I, I said that you looked the most beautiful person that had ever been alive, ever. Um, but I'm just going to have to slightly revise that because today you've topped it. Uh, you look stunning. Um, and I'm sure everybody else agrees. <laughs>